Bank 2 at 170, which is pulling into 250 on the interest, 100, 270. Going back over 100, 270, 13, 850 of the standard deduction still gives us taxable income, 86, 420. So 86, 420, and then the tax, I won't adjust the tax, but the tax would be calculated based on that. The interest is not a separate, a separate rate thus far because this has been taxable interest, which will be taxed at the normal progressive rates thus far. So then we can say, okay, well, what if we had a large amount of interest because we've been doing really well or something? So we're like, okay, we got a lot of, we did good last year, but now the, now the IRS wants to know what did you do? in order to make that money for suspicious. So we're gonna say, let's say we made another uh, 1,700 of interest, right? And so now I'm gonna go, okay, let's go back on over to the forms. So now the form 1040 still is gonna pull that in to, we said it was still uh, taxable. So it's still being pulled in as uh, taxable interest, but now the schedule B has been triggered and so now we need to attach the schedule B, which is just adding up the institutions, adding up to the 1,970, which is then pulling over to the, the form 1040. Now, of course, the IRS would typically have the forms that would add up to these dollar amounts on their side, right? So they can kind of double check it because the 1099s would have been given to you as well as to uh, the IRS is the, is the general idea. Now then you could imagine that you have tax exempt interest. So we have, so interest on US savings bonds here and in line eight, tax exempt interest. So let's say we have tax exempt interest and go back on over and say, okay, this is gonna be bank number four. And we're gonna say now it was, let's say US bonds T-bills. Uh, and we'll say, or I'll say it over here, this is, this is, so now we have uh, total municipal bonds and then in-state municipal bonds. So you have to also kind of be aware of what the state uh, tax rules are gonna be with regards to it as well, if you have an income tax for the state and so on. So, but I'm gonna go back on over and say, okay, so now I have 300 that is in the tax exempt interest and 1,970 in uh, the taxable interest. If I go to my Schedule B, we can see then we only are listing basically the taxable interest. So I'm still, this is kind of like a reporting requirement here, but not really having an impact on the return. So if I went and mirrored that on my software, I might say like tax exempt. So bank, this was, what was I on here? This was bank uh, three which I said was 1,700, we said, or something like that. And then bank four, I might say this was exempt just for reporting purposes, say 300 on the outside, because it's, it's exempt, so it's not being included in our calculation down below. And then we can say, okay, 1,970 is pulling over to page one, 102,270. So, so now we're at 1,970. Oh, hold on, I can't put it there because now it's summing up in this total. So I'm going to put it on the outside. I'll put it out over here so it's not included.